welcome back to my channel it's morgan here welcome if you're new welcome if you're returning today's video will be a makeup tutorial so if you want to see what i do just make sure you keep watching hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so i'm just going to get right into what i'm going to use first so i'm using this anastasia beverly hills dip brow powder and it's in the shade dark brown and i'm also going to be using this ankle brush by mac it is the number 266 and then I'm also going to just be using a spoolie. I'm not sure where this is from and I'm just going to first brush out my eyebrows until I feel like they look good enough. You know, I can't get my eyebrows done right now so they're just going to have to do. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on my hand and then I'm going to take this brush by MAC in the number 190 and just smooth it all over my face until I feel like it's all coated and ready. So now I'm going to start on my brows and I can go more in detail about my brows if you guys want me to do a video about them, but I'm probably just going to speed through. So really all I do is I take that brow powder and I take the darkest shade with my angled brush and I kind of just take a little bit of it. And then what I do is I just start by lining the bottom of my eyebrow because I really have to kind of create a shape because I can't get my eyebrows done right now. So I just line the bottom and then I lined the little tail end at the top and then I lined the rest of it and then I just kind of fill in with the powder. Um, there's no specific reason why I use powder over the pomade. I just don't have the, you know, dip brow like the normal one that people have right now because I just ran out of it. It's gone. So I'm using this powder. This is really my go-to for like my everyday makeup. So we're just going to go with it. And to be honest, I love the powder almost just as much as I probably love anything else. So we're just going to use that. And I just do the same thing for both brows. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. So after I finish filling in the brows with the powder, I just go in with my spoolie and I just soften up any sharp lines just to make it look more natural and more kind of airbrushed, I guess you could say. And then I sometimes just go in with the angle brush again to kind of slowly fill in closer to the front of the brow um, because I don't want it to be as harsh right there. And then I'm going to go in with this MAC Mineralize Concealer in the shade NC35. And I'm using these, these, <laughs> this flat angled brush by MAC. And it's in the number 212. And it's just a really like sharp angled, angled flat brush. And whenever you are lining your brows, it's best to use a flat brush so that you can get that sharp lines so even if you did a bad job filling them in especially right now since we can't go out and get our eyebrows done it's really important that you can conceal and it looks cleaner than it would have so i am just using that and i'm going to just go across and blend that in until i feel like it looks good and i'm gonna go in and blend it in more afterwards with the brush i'm just going to do the top and the bottom and then go in and blend more
So once both brows have the concealer around them, I just take a damp beauty blender and just rub around the brows until I feel like it looks pretty good. And for this tutorial, I didn't really want to wear heavy foundation, so I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. I am going to be using the shade Walnut though, so this is the color I'm just going to be putting all over my face, so I'm just literally drawing on my face all over and then I'm taking a beauty blender to just mix it in with my skin and then I'm taking that same brush that I used for the primer and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit extra and I feel like it helps soak in what was already on the brush. So now I'm going to move on into a little, you know, contour, add a little color to my face. So I'm using this Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in the shade Medium Dark. This is an amazing contour powder and it literally lasts forever. So this is a really good investment and I just love it because it doesn't feel like really chalky and just kind of weird trying to contour. So I'm using this BH Cosmetics brush, girl, like this regular brush. I could barely find the numbers, but I think it says 126, don't quote me. But these brushes have been through it, child. But we're just gonna go with it. I love using this for my contour because it's kind of angled. It's almost like a blush brush, but it's really not. So I'm not sure. And then I'm going in with another BH Cosmetics brush. This brush, yeah, I don't even know what the number says. It's all rubbed off. But it's just another regular brush, and I'm using it for my nose contour. And then now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC43. And I'm just setting all around my face. So I'm just taking the little pad that comes with it. And I am literally just dabbing it on the bridge of my nose, on my eyelids to kind of mat those up. Do it on my little forehead, you know, basically my T-zone under my eyes. Because I'm not going to be using like a real setting powder. And then I'm going to take this Sephora fluffy powder brush. It doesn't really have a number, it just says powder on it. <laughs> um, and then I'm taking that and then I'm using that for a little bit under my eyes just to, you know, not be so harsh and moving around products. So now for the blush, I'm using this Benefit California like golden pinkish blush. And if anything lasts me forever, it's this. I've probably had this for over like three or four years now. It is so pigmented, so you really don't have to use a lot. So I'm using this MAC brush in the number 129 to just put a little bit on the like cheekbone area just to give me a little extra color and then i usually add a little bit on my temples like right there above my eyebrows it just kind of like shapes my face i feel like i don't really know if that makes any sense but that's what i feel like it does <laughs> and yeah then i'm just going in with my glossier lash stick this little like mascara is one of my favorite like go-to mascaras it's very simple and like doesn't draw a lot of attention to what's going on on your lashes but it still like accentuates them so it's pretty nice
so now I'm just gonna spray my face with this Mario Badescu rose water because your girl ran out of setting spray while in quarantine and I'm not about to buy no $50 setting spray if I'm not really needing it to be set set you know right you feel me so now for the highlighter I always set my face before I highlight so that it can set in and I learned that one time when I got my makeup done for like prom or something, but <laughs> um, I'm using this MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is literally my holy grail when it comes to highlighters. I love this. So this soft and gentle color is like my go-to when I'm not super tan, you know. So I'm taking this like random brush, like tech cosmetics or whatever real tech you know real techniques or whatever it is and um i'm just going to put some on the brush and then highlight wherever necessary so my cheekbones the bridge of my nose my little cupid's bow and then i'm gonna go in with this little like tiny brush from bh cosmetics and just gonna do like my little like under eyebrow area and then I'm just going to do my inner corner of my eyes and then freshen up that little cupid's bow area, you know, target it a little more with a smaller brush, you feel me? So guys, I was feeling a little bored and wanted to add something cool, something random in. So I recently purchased these Glossier eye pencils. They're called Color Slide. They're really cute. They have really nice colors. This one is in the shade Hardcore Velvet. And this color is like really pretty. It's like this kind of like bluish green color. It's really nice it's eyeliner. So I just decided to, you know, do a little random colored eyeliner, you know? Who doesn't love a colored eyeliner? And then I just took me forever because I don't ever do eyeliner, so I was just playing with it. Then I added some more mascara, that Glossier mascara. just kind of kept looking at it and felt like I wanted to add some lashes y'all so I'm using these grabbed by Gab eyelashes check her out she is a small black owned business and she has bomb lashes so y'all should go check her out I'll put her information below so make sure y'all check her out but I'm just gonna put on my lashes using my duo glue like I always do and that low-key rhyme so what's up <laughs> okay y'all so i got on my lashes you know we're done with that so we're going to move on to some lip liner i'm using this nyx nyx however you want to say it lip liner this is in the shade espresso which is literally a brown liner y'all it's nothing special okay <laughs> so we are going to line our lips hunty we're going to line them and then make sure they're not trapped or pale whatever and just line them and kind of rub it in together
I'm using this Fenty Gloss, y'all. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. It's her Gloss Balm. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and just rub it together and blend the liner with it. And this is one of my favorite combinations. And so yeah, so this is what the look looks like, y'all. So I'm going to put on these earrings. For those who don't know, I have recently launched a business. It is called Choix du Jour. And these are from my first collection. I will be sure to link them below. So yeah, this is the... This is the look, okay? This is what we're giving. It's not what I thought I was gonna do. I thought I was giving y'all a natural beat. But you know, sometimes your spirit just shifts you in another way. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and enjoyed this video in general. It would make me so, so happy if you guys gave it a thumbs up and left a comment and even hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all of your support so i hope you enjoyed this video once again <laughs> and i will see you guys soon bye